evening and welcome to Wapakura High School, where tonight WSN brings you the Division IV District Final matchup in volleyball for this 2023 season. Our two teams this evening, the number 10 ranked team in the state, that would be the Marion Local Flyers, 18 and 7 coming into this particular match, and the number sec, number two ranked team in the state of Ohio, that would be the Bremen Cardinals, and they are 20 and 4. My name is Mark Shine. my pleasure to do play-by-play. Alongside Chris Luthold. Chris, coaching duty is over. We're glad to have you back here behind the microphone. And surprise, we have a district final with two MAC teams. Well, this district final between two MAC teams happens every year, it seems like. And, and many times it's these two teams. Of course, they're very familiar with each other. A lot of the girls play club ball together. Uh, uh, New Bremen won the regular season match this year. But um, I think this is going to be a, a very good match, and it's it's almost a regional final, state semifinal level match. That it is. Let's talk about that Marion local Flyers a little bit. They were 18 and seven, three and six in the conference. That tells you something about the MAC. If they're the number 10 ranked team in the state of Ohio, and only three and six in their own conference. But here's how they got there. In the first match of the sectional semifinals, they defeated Temple Christian. Three to nothing, but then Chris, they had to do some serious scrambling in the sectional final and district semi because they went five sets with New Knoxville. They won the final set 15-12, and then district semis here the other night, they beat Minster in five sets, and that went 15-13. They, they've been doing some serious scrambling here to get this part, a part of the tournament. Well, and that could prepare them pretty well for a match like this. But, you know, back to your point about being three and six in the conference and ranked 10th in the state, there's voters from all over the state, so just not local area voters. And when the state sees that they're three and six, but they're in the MAC, they still vote for a team like that. Yes, they do. For the uh, New Bremen Cardinals, again, they are 20 and four. They were part of the Tri Champions of the Midwest Athletic Conference this year with an eight and one record. The other two being Coldwater and St. Henry, which had a wonderful match last night. You saw here on the WOSM. In their sectional final matchup, they defeated, uh, I didn't write it down, for Ada. No, excuse me, they defeated Ada in the semifinals, but they won their semifinal match. Heitkamp had 14 kills. They defeated Ada in the district uh, semis here the other night, uh, and that was 3 0. Olivia Heitkamp, who was having just a wonderful year, 25 kills for her, five aces apiece from Kara Steiniger, Amelia Danmeyer, and 35 assists from from Melina Schrader, and they had it going the other night against Ada, but a much different opponent they'll see this evening. Yeah, and, and um, I, I think it's gonna be pretty good. It's hard to beat somebody uh, twice in one season, especially somebody that uh, you beat in three before, although they were contested three sets, and especially somebody who has state tournament experience, maybe not these girls, but uh, Marion Local, of course, has state championships. So does New Bremen. And uh, I think it's going to be a pretty good match. These two teams played in the district finals a year ago. And the winner was the New Bremen Cardinals. So we'll see if they can do that again. Or this Marion Local team, which has just a single senior on it. Our R2 today is uh, Dan Minnick. Our R1 is Kim Egbert. And it is volleyball time. District championship match. Here's Melina Schrader and Olivia Heitkamp out of the middle. And she puts one away on her very first attempt. Well, I don't know how you defend that. You've got two pretty good hitters in the front row, and, and Schrader goes to the back row to the, to the you know, the All-Ohio girl and gets a kill. That, that's, you know, how do you stop that? On our screen on your left, wearing white, is New Bremen with the red trim. Their libero is Kara Steiniger. She's in the, the burgundy uniform this evening. Very local is in blue. They're on the right side of your screen, and their libero, Nor Eckstein, is wearing white, and there's another kill. Now, New Bremen's gotten the ball two times, not counting the serve here. They've got the ball two times, and they have two kills. So here is Amelia Dammeyer to serve, one of the three seniors that make up Coach Diana Kramer's team. She serves it to Eckstein, and here's the ball played over by the libero, Nora Eckstein. Here's the set again to Heitkamp. This time she has to roll it a bit, and she gets another point, though. Well, it's a good thing we're playing at Wapak because in a lot of gyms, that that first pass would have hit the ceiling, <laughs> bounced around up in the rafters. Amelia Dammeyer serves for a third time. This kill attempt is by Grace Moeller. Here's Schrader set, and Turner hits one away. So Olivia Heitkamp gets three kills, and they go to Ava Turner, the junior. 
There's no doubt about that one either. Damire serves. Here's the set. And they keep it alive, but not well enough on the kill attempt. I think that was Grace Moeller. And it's 4-1. And the serve now will be my Eckstein, the 5'9 freshman. These two teams played back on September 19th. New Bremen won in three sets, but it was a very closely contested three sets. Here's the set. Here's Hike Camp again. And that one's touched, and she gets another point. Nice thing about uh, this level, you got really good line judges and, uh, you know, certified officials and the line judges right on top of that touch right away. Here's Kara Steiniger. She is the libero. She has 49 aces this year. Here's a set. Cross-court pass. This will go to Ashman and Kate Ashman's hit. Another hit. That one came from uh, Natalie Evers. That will be a point that will chalk up to the New Bremen Cardinals. It's 6-1 early. Schrader gets her first kill. She gets a lot of them out of that setter position in the front row. Over 100, did you say 115 kills yeah. as a setter. It's Here's five a match. To serve again. Set, hit. Natalie Evers. Puts it up. Sorry, that was not Evers. That was Kate Ashman. She gets her first kill. 6-2. And Natalie Evers will serve. She's the setter. 26 aces for her this season. All six, all eight points so far are on kills, none on airs. Two-handed that time from Melina Schrader. Pass this time goes to Rachel Keither, and Rachel gets a kill. 6-3. Structure out the Ohio scoreboard. Rajivers to serve again. She has 59 kills as a setter. Out of the middle, Olivia Heitkamp. 7-3. Now all nine, all ten points are on kills. No points on acers, no points on airs. Here is Melina Schrader, future University of Dayton volleyball player. Just a junior and is committed to the Flyer program already. They're ranked in the top uh, 20 in the nation right now. The kill attempt was by Moeller. This will be high camp, but you get double contact point will go to the Flyers at 7-4. And Grace Moeller will serve. 5-8 sophomore. A really nice year of Grace. High camp rolled that one across. They're able to save it, but not legally. 8-4. You can kind of tell, Chris, if your feet don't get set underneath you, it's really hard to set the ball legally. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, there's, some, there's some really good ones who can't, yeah. but it's more difficult. Yep. Here's Olivia Heitkamp. Future University of Toledo Rocket. From the back row, that kill attempt by Kate Ashman. 8-5. Things have stabilized a little bit for the Flyers after giving up the first four, four points of this set. And Kate Ashman, the 5'9 freshman, will serve. Good serve. Schrader will set high camp. Here's the set from Evers. And that ball was hit by Rachel Keither, but it's going to be four contacts to get it over the net, 9-5. Here comes Sarah Dwanger into the match. Sarah replaces Mary Rindler. She is kind of the designated server with 26 aces this year. And the back up to play that one with Maya Eckstein. This will be Dammeyer. And did she get the net? Yes, she did. Must have, been, must have gone on a follow through, possibly. Amelia Dammeyer. Mary Rindler will re enter as. Sarah Dwanger finishes her service, and then the libero, Kara Steiniger, will replace her. Here comes Ashlyn Moeller in, somewhat of a designated server as well, back row player. She has 26 aces on the season. Turner. 
I, I think, Chris, this is my fourth or fifth fly, uh, New Cardinal Volleyball. And Ava Trentman has gotten better every time I have seen her. Well, who, her two attempts so far have just been, been hit really hard, both of them for kills. Here's April Baker. Tracking that one down. Here's Trentman again and finds another spot. 11-6. That's her third kill. April Baker will serve again. At 11-6. It's set by the libero Eckstein and the hit. It's good. Point for my Eckstein. 11-7. Five different girls have kills now for Marion Local. Here's Olivia Dammeyer in. She wears number three for the Cardinals. And to serve is Nora Eckstein. Dammeyer will hit this one. That's Amelia. Two blockers. And Schrader tried to play it over and missed it. 11 8. Well, she can do that. She's in the front row now, so anybody in the front row can tip that ball when it's up there like that. Now, when she's in the back row, she can't. And so that's why the players are always paying attention to where the setters in the front row or back row. That time she said Amelia Dammeyer. 12 8. And four different girls have kills now for uh, New Bremen. And the very successful Marion Local Flyer football team just walked in. Here's Amelia Dammeyer. 34 aces for her this season. Back set, hit. That was by Maya Eckstein. Steininger has to free ball it. What a diving effort by Olivia Dan Meyer, but not able to get the ball back up high enough for a teammate to use. It's 12-9. Eckstein has two kills now. There's Kate Ashman to enter. And to serve is Maya Eckstein. She had three aces when these teams met back in September. High camp. Eckstein got to it. That play is going to be by Kate Ashman. Ashman again. And that time she scores a point. It's 12-10. They were down 4-0, Chris. They've got it back to 12-10 with service. Here's my Eckstein again. That's our first ace. It's it is 12 our first 11. ace. Yep. Took 23 points before getting an ace serve. One more serve. Try to tie this one up here by my Eckstein. This will be high camp. She hits it and hits it hard off the little barrel of Nora Eckstein. Point and service will go back to the Bremen Cardinals. Six kills now for high camp already. Here's Kara Steiniger to serve. She had 16 kills to Olivia high camp when they played back in September. And the serve is long. It's our first miss serve. 13-12. Rachel Keeter will enter. And to serve will be the setter, Natalie Evers. Back set, Riddler. Another back set. And that time it's blocked wow. at the net. Is that high camp there? That was quite a block. High camp and Riddler both there. And the, height, the amazing thing is they sit out of the net. Yeah, but, that's a good point. Both high enough that they didn't contact the net as Melina Schrader serves. Good serve from her. Free balled over by the libero. And high camp. Oh. When you get up high enough, Chris, it comes down in front of the 10-foot line. You're making solid contact. It's 15-12. And, you know, cross court, that was really cross court. Almost... Uh, you know, maybe just, you know, really close to that spiking line. It's hard to, to find that spot. Here's Molina Schrader's float serve for an ace. 
Leah Schrader makes it 16-12. And we are going to get our first timeout of our opening set. This timeout will be called by Mary Local. Watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alts. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. And that scoreboard shows the Cardinals with a 16-12 lead. They started out 4-0 and they've got it back to a four-point lead. Well, Marion Local had their chance to tie it with the serve when it was 12-11, uh, I think. And um, since, since then, it's been 5-1 Cardinals. Melina Schrader's serve. Set. Pushed over by Grace Moeller. Olivia Heitkamp. 17-12. That's amazing, and she's got eight kills already in the first set. Out of 17 offensive points. Yeah. Schrader. Eagles had to run a long way to get that. Was that pushed over illegally? It was. It's 18-12. That became a point of emphasis a few years ago, making sure when that ball gets pushed over, that is done so legally. Here's Melinda Schrader again. Float serve. Back over to zone two. She hit that earlier for, her for an ace. And they tried to keep it alive. Could not on a kill by Kate Ashman. That breaks the string. And gets it to 18 to 13. But, well, Marion Logan needs to make a move now if they want to get back in this set. Schrader will set Heitkamp camp again. Blocked that time, but still gets it in for a point. Yeah, it was blocked and blocked up into the air, but the uh, Flyers weren't able to get that pass. Here is Olivia Heitkamp to serve. 338 kills in their 75 sets this year. It's served from her, set by Evers, and the hit that time by Ashman. Tipped over by Rindler. Back set to hit that time by Keeter. Tipped over by Dammeyer. And Illegally contacted. It is 2013. You know, as many kills as Heitkamp has in a season of her career, she has no chance of breaking the new Bremen record. <laughs> Get back to that in a minute. Okay, that hit was by uh, Brooke Evers. Brooke Evers scores a point and makes it 2014. By a young lady sitting on the bench down here as an assistant coach. Yeah, Paige Jones has about every hitting record in the state of Ohio. It's a phenomenal career and also at the University of Michigan. Mary Rinder with that hit. And again, this time she tips it over. Evers will back set. That hit was by Keeter. That was blocked. Good point. And Olivia Dan Meyer missed the sideline 2015. I know they didn't get the point, but how about when your libero could set the ball as well as Kara Steininger just did? Well, especially where it happened. It yes. was almost on that W right there on the middle of the floor. Missed the back line with that service. It is 21-15. And, oh, we're going to make sure we get the sub done correctly as Sophia Fleck will enter. And on the other side, it is Sarah Dwanger's turn to enter. Here's Sarah with her team up six. That's blocked. Trentman blocked that one. Trentmeyer and Danmeyer were both there for a point. 22-16. This will be another timeout. This one will go to the very local Flyers as well. And while we have a moment, our premier sponsor today for the New Bremen Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate in New Bremen. 
Make your next move with a name you trust. That would be Hemel Garns Real Estate. And we appreciate their sponsorship this evening. 22-16. I know you've been keeping kind of some, some numbers there, but it just looks like when it comes to a kill ratio, New Bremen is really playing well right now. Well, you got Ike Camp with eight, nine kills and five more from the rest of the team. Uh, three other girls there contributing. So four girls have kills, but just haven't been able to stop Olivia Heitkamp at all. Not even close. She's just just crushing the ball and mixing up her spots and doing a very good job. Of course, she hits out of the back row as well as the front row. But on the other hand, Marion Local has six different girls with kills. So they've been able to, uh, to spread that around uh, just as well, if not better. Sarah Glanger's serve goes into the net to make it 22-17. Only the second missed serve of the uh, third missed serve of the mat of the uh, set so far. Both teams have been serving pretty good, not only just percentage-wise, but serving pretty hard and mixing up the locations. Ashlyn Moeller and her 26 aces enters. Team could use a few aces right here. Tretma on the slide was it touched? It was not. 22-18. Ashton, 5-5 junior. Amelia Dammeyer, and off the block for a point. It is 23-18. That's her second 23, kill. 23-17. Uh, 17. 17 on the yeah, board. Yeah, my mistake. I thought it was 18. Well, either way, the team wearing whites ahead, and they're going to send out April Baker to serve at 22-17. Good serve. High ceiling, lets them run it down. Can they play it over? Did. They did by uh, Nora Eckstein. Here's Tretman. Make it 24-17. It's a great set from Schrader, a great hit from Tretman. That ball is, uh, is hit so high above the net, it's very difficult to block. Serve will be short. Not a bad idea, though, to serve to one of the short zones when you got 24-18. A lot of times that's an ace. And Nora Eckstein to serve, trying to stave off set point here in our opening set today. Hey, guess what? My score sheet was right. They just put it up. <laughs> but talk about putting it up. How about putting up point number 25 to make it 25-18? Opening set will go by the way of the new Bremen Cardinals. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back in Wapak, Connecticut. Tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Out for Ohio by Alt. The Structure Out for Ohio brings indoors out. Mark Schein, Chris Ludol, Chris, you've been keeping stats in our opening set. What'd they tell you? Well, New Bremen first, 17 kills, nine of them from Olivia Heitkamp, and one ace serve, so 18 of their points were earned in that manner. They also had two blocks, so there's two more points there, and they missed three serves. Uh, Marion Local, not too bad, six different girls got kills, nine kills all together, one ace serve. They missed just one serve and had uh, zero blocks and of course by a block we mean a block for a point as i, I look at the, my score sheet and bremen opened the match with four consecutive points and in the middle of the match they had a five point run mary local was never more able to score more than three consecutive points only did that once and that's kind of the difference in the opening set that hit was by uh, brooke evers olivia heitkamp adds to her kill total Well, the first two points scored in set one were from Ike Camp kills, and uh, the, looks like we're starting off the same way. This will be uh, Amelia Dammeyer. 34 aces. There's and another one. Yep, add one to the total. Here, Mary Local, you've got a, one senior on your team. You've lost four consecutive sets to New Bremen. You need to get off to a good start here. Talking about the, the regular season match plus the first one of this oh, one. That yeah. kill will go to Maya Eckstein. That helps. And she's got three kills now. And the serve will be the libero, Nora Eckstein, at 2-1. 
Heitkamp sets this ball. And it has to be played over by Dammeyer. That one's just eased over by Grace Mogler. There's Heitkamp. 3-1. You know, Chris, in basketball, they call it empty possessions where you don't get a score. You just can't have too many of those against this new Bremen team. Yeah, you got to get one. You got to get more points than just your side out point. Steiniger serves. This hit will be by Moeller. Falls on the side of the flyer, so it's 4-1. Of course, there's extra pressure on the Marion local serve receive now. They just, you know, they're thinking, I, you got to pass that ball to the setter. At 4-1. And you get a serve like that, which is tough to handle. That's blocked. Rindler blocked it, but it ended up on her side of the net. It's 4-2. It's Moeller's second kill. She hit it right into the block, but hit it hard enough that uh, the uh, Cardinals weren't able to block it back across the net. It just went straight down in front of them. By Eckstein. Good serve from her. Rindler. And the libero bumps it up in the air. This hit kill attempt by Ashman. And then the kill attempt by the setter, Evers. That's a good idea, yeah. know, you know, but just couldn't quite find the court. Very local people looking for a touch. Didn't get that call. And Melina Schrader will serve. Five, three. She likes to serve cross court, doesn't she? Well, that's probably the call she's getting. I can't see the yeah. the uh, zones that uh, Coach Kramer's giving, but uh, she may give those to her because that's where she's a good server, possibly, or they think there's a weakness at that spot. Mary Rindler hit that ball, came back at him. Here's Heitkamp, and off a blocker again. She scores. It is 6-3. Kill number 12. Is that good when you're only six points into the second set? Yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty, pretty good, good yeah. That's what I thought. <laughs> Here's Olivia Heitkamp. Good serve. It'll have to be free balled over by Keeper. Olivia Dammeyer hits it to the libero, and then goes up and hits it again. 7-3. Assists from Marion Local on that one. That's her fourth kill. And really not much you could do with it. Yes, it was an overpass, but the ball was hit so hard. You just try to keep it in play, and it went across the net. Here's Heitkamp again. And she rolled it over the net and got an ace for her efforts. Can't defend that. 8-3. Olivia Heitkamp, to go along with her 338 kills, has 24 aces on the season. Floats. Evers sets. That's blocked by the two Dammeyers. Ashman to Heitkamp. Amelia Dammeyer. Nine to three. That was just kind of like fingertip controlled at that time. Well, you know, it's like a changeup. That could really confuse the uh, defense on that. They're prepared for a hard hit. Heitkamp, after serving three consecutive points, Serves that one out of bounds. Well, as tough as they serve, you can afford to to uh, take some chances on your serving. That is their fifth missed serve, but they've been able to score a lot of points off the serve as well. And there's a missed serve coming back at you. Back at that point, even if you don't get an ace serve, your serve is tough enough that uh, the serve receive has a tough time making a really good pass off that. Is that the uh, risk reward? Is that what we call that, Coach? That's what it is. Yep. Here's Sarah Dwanger. Evers sets. Kill attempt by Eve, uh, Brooke Evers. Olivia Dammeyer. And do they keep it alive? They do on the play over by Evers. Natalie Evers. Back set. Brooke Evers. Schrader dumps it over. Ashman gets it blocked by Trentman. We're going to go to her again, and she gets a kill. Persistence. Yeah, give it right back to me. Next time I'll get a kill. And that's her fourth. Kate Ashman, the 5'9 freshman. 142 kills for her. 
and she will move to, to service. Team trailing by, by five. Good serve. Dammeyer waits for it to come down and plays it. The kill attempt was by Maya Eckstein. Amelia Dammeyer gets a block, but it's blocked out of bounds. It's 11 5. Flyers have served five times in this set. Chris haven't scored a point. So all their points are the side out. Well, that's what you know. If they just got one extra point, it'd be 11 to 10. That's and your point that you made earlier about uh, you know just getting one point uh, per time per service time. Height camp from behind the 10 foot line. That's a rare miss. Yes, it is. 11-6. And in the serve is Ashton Moeller. See if she can break that spell and get a point off the service. Nope, not this time. So it's 12-6. Again, just one point. And Amelia Dammeyer. Kind of closely contested set. Four-point run. Three on service by Heitkamp has been the difference. And that's a missed serve. 12-7. Even with our headphones on, I could hear the <laughs> Marion local girls yelling out. That's what those bench girls are supposed to do, right? Yeah, stay exactly. In, stay in the match. Yep. Next time. Pops straight up in the air. Schrader had a whack at it and got another one. Good diving play in the back row that time by Sophia Fleck. And Heitkamp went long. There they got a point off the of service. Makes it 12-8. Well, this is about the time in, in the first set where they made a little run. Got it within one point. That's correct. Got it to 12-11. Nice Trentman, set. Wow. Ava gets it blocked. Back set, Heitkamp. Fleck making another play. Then one by Mai Eckstein to keep it alive. Trentman. Oh, Inside the spiking line. Straight down. Ava Trentman, the 5'10 junior. She comes, uh, her turn to rotate out, and she's a happy young lady. And well, she should be. Kira Steiniger to serve, up five. That's blocked by Mary Rindler. 14-8 on our structure outdoor Ohio scoreboard. Kara Steininger to serve again. Back set hit by Maya Eckstein. Steininger sets high camp. 15-8. That's how Steiner gets her assist. 15-8 means timeout. Marion Local. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. Hemelgar Real Estate is tonight's premier sponsor for the DeBremen Cardinals. Make your next move with a name you trust. That will be Hemelgar Real Estate. Three-point run. Took it from 12-8, Chris, to 15-8. Well, and that really decisive play when Marion Local was digging the ball, but not good enough to get a hit on it. They passed the ball over on a free ball two or three times, and, and New Bremen just got... Good, good hits out of it. Eventually, they're going to get a point. So you just here's another free ball. That just that's not going to work. Eckstein, Riddler. Can Eckstein track it down? She does. See, and here it is again. Another yep. free ball. They just keep you on your heels, yeah. don't they? Yep. And Olivia Heitkamp yeah. until they get her the ball. Kill number 14. 16-8. 
So they have had 41 points in the two sets, and she's got how many kills, you say? 14? She's got 14, and she's not, she hit that out of the middle, and she's not even the middle hitter right now, Riddler is. So they called that play in the middle of the play, in the middle of the rally. Steiniger with a float serve for an ace. It's 17 to 8. Kira had a service run back in the opening set also. That's blocked. Height can't block it, and she hit it just a bit long. Makes it 17-9 into the match. Kate Ashman to play in the front row. And that is Maya Eckstein to serve, and Maya gets an ace. That's her second ace. 17-10. And drops one over. Well, you know, that was the serving zone that uh, Coach Chappelle gave. You know, serve one that just lips off the net. <laughs> he told her to do that, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. just you get, get yourself another ace. Maya with back-to-back -back aces cuts the lead to 17-11. And Heikamp got it right in the corner. 18-11. Structure out for Ohio scoreboard. Well, the Flyers got three points that time. They did. Melina Schrader. Ashley. Point. 18 to 12. She has five kills now. She leads the Flyers. 5 9 freshman leads her team in kills right now. 18-12. And an ace. Here comes Mary Local. They've got three aces in this set. TV44 and WSN are nonprofit organizations supported by viewers like you. Now's a great time to make a donation of any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click donate here. They're accepted 24 hours a day. Back set Mary Rindler. It's 19-13. Run that little slide play. Well, she's hit the ball pretty hard tonight, but they've been able to, to dig her so far. That's her first kill. Olivia Heitkamp. She opened this match this evening with four points in service. Her team is up six in set two. Nice shuffle back there by Steininger. I camp from behind the 10 foot line this time, and she was a server. Ashley. Point. It's 1914. Grace Moeller, 5'8 sophomore. They turn behind the service line. Amelia Danmeyer, overpass, and Olivia Danmeyer says thank you. It is 2014. You mentioned not always scoring points uh, as aces, but but you've got them on your heels with your service. Make a lot of difference. Yeah, it does. Here's Sarah Dwanger. Her turn to serve. A kill attempt was by Brooke Evers, and she got a point. It's only her second, but again, uh, the Flyers have really spread their hitting around. 2015. Six different girls with kills. Kate Ashman. Takes her blue and gold jersey to the service area. And she leaves her serve short to make it 21-15. Sophia Fleck will enter. She had... Kate Ashman take turns playing front row, back row. Also in is April Baker. She takes the place of Olivia Danmeyer. And April, with her 19 aces on the season, will serve.
Jousting net won by Mubarim, by Mary Local. Amelia Damar, that's blocked, but it falls on the court. It's her seventh kill. And we're going to get a timeout. This one will go, by the way, of the Flyers as well. You're watching High School Volleyball, WOSN. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WOSN from anywhere at any time. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv. Also available on Roku and Apple TV. Second timeout of set number two. Flyers trailing by seven. And April Baker will serve again. Set next time to Libero. And high camp. Consistently scoring from behind the 10 foot line at 23 15. Seventh kill in this set, 16th overall. Now you're the math guy. 10 yeah. foot line the same as the three meter line? Um, about. <laughs> I, it's, I really don't know if it's actually exactly 10 feet or yeah. exactly three meters they're yeah they're pretty close right but um i heard them on the big yeah. 10 network the other night they were calling it the three meter the line three I'm meter thinking, line. yeah okay. that's kind of the international term for it i like that here's Ashlyn Moeller. the team needs some points here in set two amelia dammeyer she's racking up the kills isn't she she is she's got five in this set and eight overall 24-16, and we are at set point here in set number two. And the, the same Amelia Danmeyer will serve. Good serve. And that's an ace, and that will bring our second set to an end. The Cardinals won the opening set 25-18. They win set two 25-16. Back with set three after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSM. We're back to Wapakoneta High School, Division 4, District Final Matchup. Our premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Make, sure next, make your next move with a name you trust. That will be Hemelgarn Real Estate. Chris, here's how you know you're playing well. They put shots out slide on the PA, <laughs> and your team is dancing to yeah, it. Yeah, they were. Yeah, New Bremen. They were, yeah, but they, they were are dancing. playing well. What, their stat numbers are really good, aren't they? Well, they had 15 kills in that set. Six different girls got a kill led by Olivia Heitkamp with seven and Amelia Dammeyer with five. They also had four ace serves, but they missed three serves. Uh, on Marion Local, they had uh, five different girls, four different girls got kills, and they did have three ace serves, six kills overall, but they missed three serves as well. I think uh, the stat that I'm not keeping, uh, serve receive, uh, Marion Locals, if they want to get this set, they're going to have to serve receive better and get a really good hit off the serve receive and try to zero in on the hitting from New Bremen, which is not easy. I had uh, Marion Local serving 12 times in that set and scoring only four points off of service. As serve receive has been very good for the team wearing white tonight. I think, I think your stats are right because they had 16 points. So they got 12 side out points and there, there four, four earned points. That's, that's, uh, you're a math guy. There's an ace. That'll start well, you that's out That's a right. good start. Yes, sir. Nora Eckstein lines one over the net. That's her fourth ace. You know, I'm looking back over my stat sheet really quick, and they led at 5-3 uh, in the last. No, they did not lead at all in either set. So that's their first lead of tonight. So that was her first ace, not, not fourth. Schrader hits. Tied at one. We talked about Melina Schrader as a setter, had 115 kills in their first 25 matches, 75 sets. Well, that's more than four a match. Pretty good. Here's Amelia Dammeyer. We're in set three. We're tied at one. And that time was a big hit. Grace Moeller. Yeah. 
Maya Eckstein, another freshman, just one senior. That's Nora Eckstein on Coach Chapel's team. Schrader sets, and Heitkamp hits it through a blocker. Well, they got their hands on that one, but uh, they weren't able to block it back, so uh, nice hit from Heitkamp. That's her 17th kill. Kira Steininger, 49 aces for her. Eva Barrow is second on the team to Schrader's 64 aces. Free ball over. Back set Rindler. Hey. 3 2 Cardinals. Nothing but floor on that one. Listed at 5 9 and plays bigger than that. Steininger will serve again. You know, Height Camp going to Toledo. There's a lot of local players up there in Toledo. Yeah, uh, Alt from uh, the uh, Ottawa Glendorf Titans just set their career record for kills. She did, yeah, That's amazing. A ace on the back line. It's Kara's second ace. Izzy Granger's getting yeah. a lot of playing time this year. She's uh, second yeah. or third on the team in kills. Liberty Benton. Uh, Liberty Benton, yep. Float served by Steininger. And was that touched? It was not. The hit goes long. It's 5-2 on the service by Steininger. She's had runs in both sets, and now in this one as well. There's another girl from OG up there right now. Her name escapes me. She's a back row player. Ashman. Schrader. Oh, she saved that from hitting the antenna. And that it had that the, was amazing. It had the presence of mind to keep it in play as a kill. 6-2. Steininger again. Schrader sets, and Riddler got a point on that one. It is 7-2. She's got two kills in this set. The last six points have come pretty quickly after Marion Local was ahead two to one. And what do we got? Uh, we got some people walking yeah, around, I think, kids. over here on the corner, on the court. They should be out trick-or-treating. Should... <laughs> well, they wouldn't get anything in New Bremen. There's nobody <laughs> home. <laughs> or Maria Stein. Or no. <laughs> Nice dig there by Set. Dan Meyer. Illegally done. It is 7-3. Media timeout while we take a break, while they would change up service. We're back in a moment. Watch the high school volleyball on WOSN. Service from Marion Local. Coming back out of that media timeout. Steininger will set, and she sets Schrader. When your libero can set that well, and yeah. your center hits that well, that's something. Yep. And here is the person with, that just got that kill, the center, Melina Schrader. Good save in the front by the center, Natalie Evers. And then Heitkamp hits it right to Nora Eckstein. Did they keep it alive? They do. Good play by Sophia Fleck. Rindler gets it blocked. Heitkamp again. Ashman. And Kate Ashman gets the ball through the blocker to make it 8-4. That's her seventh kill. She leads the Flyers. Long point that time. Won by the Flyers. And there haven't been a lot of long points tonight. Oh, Ooh. just missed the back. I thought that was going to drop and didn't quite get there. Yep. It's 9 4. Olivia Heitkamp. Brooke Evers. And Amelia Dammeyer was a touch. Yes. Line judges both had touch call. They did. 
Boy, it's nice to have sets of eyes like that to help you when you're officiating. It does. I remember those days. <laughs> Here's Olivia Heitkamp. Yet another serve. Back set to Ashman. And her ball went long. It's 11-4. And we're going to get a flyer timeout. Coach Chappell says we need a break. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Back at Wapakoneta, tonight's scoreboard is sponsored by Structure Outdoor Ohio by Alt. Let Structure Outdoor Ohio bring your indoors out. And our scoreboard, 11 for the Cardinals and four for the Flyers here in set three. Olivia Heitkamp will continue as the New Bremen server. Brooke Evers. Pushed over by Schrader. Did she find that back corner? She just missed. Not quite. She hasn't done that yet tonight, sending it over on two. So it's a good time to do it. That just a corner bit too is, long. is frequently open, but takes some skill to get it to that spot with some, some mustard on it. Yep. Here's Ashman to serve. Mary Rins around the middle this time. Her third kill in this set. She's come alive five. here. Five. And the Mary will take a break as she's on a rotation with Sarah Dwanger. Sarah will serve, and then the libero, Kira Steininger, will replace Sarah. Evers sets. And we've got a Cardinal in the net. Yeah, they held up the three fingers. That would be Olivia Dammeyer to make it 12-6. Ashton Moeller will be called upon to serve. And Chris, they scored the very first point of the match on service. They don't have one on service since. It's been the trend this evening. Right there's why the service seems so good. Ava Trentman. 13-6. She's got six kills now. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download today and stay up to date on all the scores. Ooh, it might have been out. Free ball it over. Schrader wants to hit it. Good defense that time. Dammeyer hits that one. And that ball will put over by Maya Eckstein. Amelia Danmeyer gets it blocked, but it is blocked out of bounds with she in the net. Now, what's the call? Evidently, she was in the net. And the net's still bobbing right now. Yeah. So that will be a 13-7 lead. I didn't see a number on who was in the net, but the point will go to the Flyers nonetheless. Back set to Trentman. That's blocked. Give that one to, to Maya Eckstein. There's a point on service. 13-8 with Nora Eckstein in her white libero jer jersey doing the serve. Stein did a little set. Amelia Dammeyer. She hits it to Eckstein. Evers sets. And that kill will go to Grace Moeller. It's 13-9. Flyers trying to win set three and keep this district final match alive. Played over by, no, it was not played over by Maya Eckstein. She left it a bit short. It's 14-9. Well, they got it down to four. Need to get a, a side out right here, don't they? Well, with the, and it starts with a good pass. Yep, here's Dammeyer to serve. Amelia Dammeyer. And she gets an ace, 15-9. That's her third ace today.
Amelia serves again. Good hit that time by Grace Moeller, tipped over by Schrader. Moeller again, and she gets a point for her persistence. Grace scores at 15 of 10. It's her fourth kill. What was the biggest lead? Seven points in it this uh, set? It was 12-5, it was 11-4, it was 13-6, so that would be correct. Set. Olivia Heitkamp, she hit the ball. That's coming our way. Yeah, Eckstein played it and almost got her own two away from us. 16-10. Lou Bremen with Kara Steiniger to serve. She served a huge six points back early in this set. That's the difference in it right now. Ashman. High camp to X9. That was put in play, but right to Mary Rindler. 17-10. That's her fourth kill in this set. Fifth overall. First Mary middle hitter last year for the for the Cardinals. And this year she's spending some time in the middle and a little bit on the right. Steiner going to serve again. And it falls over for an ace. Bit of a sheepish grin on her yep. face, but it counts as a point. It does. Both sides have got one like that. And we're going to get a timeout. This will be the final timeout for the Marion Local Flyers. It's 18-10 Cardinals. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Wapakoneta. The Cardinals with an 18-10 lead over the Flyers here in set three. We want to throw some props out to a Marion local graduate. That would be Lindsay Koenig. She is playing at Owens Community College, has 319 kills in 90 sets. And she has been the Ohio Community College Athletic Conference Player of the Week three times this fall. Oh, congratulations to yes, her. That's absolutely. outstanding. Absolutely. She plays at Owens. They're 12-0 in conference play, and she's a big reason why. High camp with that contact. This is Ashman. Can you imagine how good Kate Ashman is going to be by the time she's a senior? Or, or a <laughs> sophomore. <laughs> well, we are well before that. That's good, Chris. Yeah, she's uh, got eight kills tonight. Natalie Evers, the setter. Mary Rindler. Mary gets a point. They've gone to her some in this set, haven't they? they? Have, yeah, five kills. 19-11. Melina Schrader. Set. Ashman hit that one. She hit to Schrader. Olivia Dammeyer got to it, but couldn't keep it in play. That is legal to go between the players and, and the uh, uh, the, the scores table as long as you contact it before you go past the players bench and the officials go over that Yes, they every do every coin toss High camp winds up and gets a yet another kill it is 2012 Here's a shock. She's only got three kills in this set. But, well, they've actually said you know what let's get some other people yeah. involved a little bit So uh, Rivers got some and kind of moved in that direction. Here is Olivia Serves from that right area. Brooke Evers. Rindler. She got another one. This has been kind of her set. Kill number six. How, how smooth is the setting, though, from Melina Schrader? The, the ball doesn't twist. It doesn't move. She contacts it so effortlessly. And uh, that jump set just puts it right to a different teammate every time, it seems like. And she's very consistent with her height and with her... Uh, placement, everything just. High camp's going to get an ace. It was touched in the back row. Uh, it was headed out of bounds. It's now a 10 point lead for New Bremen. But, but uh, Schrader is definitely one of the top. I mean, of course, I haven't seen all the setters, but uh, definitely the, one of the top setters in the state. Brooke Evers blocked by Riddler. Nora Eckstein plays it over. And that 
kill. Attempt is by Amelia, Olivia Dammeyer, and it missed at the sideline, so it will be 22 13. We didn't put the score there, did I? I thought I had my score sheet wrong again. It is 22 13, it's Kate Ashman. Contacts that ball. I can't. <laughs> she fell over her teammate. She's like one of those yeah. guys in the NBA that dunks the ball by jumping over somebody. She almost yeah. jumped over uh, uh, Dammeyer. Yeah, Olivia Dammeyer. And right on the back line, there's an ace. It is 22-15. Kate Ashman. That's her first ace tonight. 36 of them prior to the season. Now give her 37 for the season. Cuts the lead to seven. Good save by Dammeyer. Evers with a set to Brooke Evers. Next time we'll set this one. And that hit will go to Rachel Keither. So not done yet are the Murray local Flyers at 22-16. Kate Ashman. Good line drive serve. Rivers block. Thought maybe it was a four contact. It was not. And that ball fell on the side of the Flyers. Boy, the Flyers wanted uh, wanted four contacts a couple times. Officials said the ball was touched by a, a Cardinal. We got a new player here. 23-16. Shot by um, Olivia Dammeyer is blocked. It's 24 16, and we are at match point, set point. And Maya Hirschfeld, Mia Hirschfeld, excuse yep, me. Her first appearance tonight. She gets to serve two times. 5 8 junior. And almost an ace, not quite. Eckstein keeps it in play. Trentman, nope. Amelia Dammeyer with the kill. And so the New Bremen Cardinals will take a three-set district final win, this time a 25-17 in the third set. They won the opening set of this evening, 25-18. They came back, they won set two, did the Cardinals, 25-16. And set three will go to New Bremen as well, this time at 25-17. They will move on to play in the Northmont Regional. They will play against a team coming out of Troy. And quite honestly, in the semifinals, that might well be Rushi or Fairlawn. Rushi, of course, had a really good year. They've come back lately. Fairlawn, also from the Shelby County Athletic League. I looked on the website today. It said those two teams played on October 28th at a time to be announced. The athletic director here, Mr. Brad Rex, here at Wapak, thought it was a 2 p.m. match. We'll have to wait on that. The finals then are on the 4th of, uh, of November. That is a 4 p.m. match uh, coming up next week. And then the winners eventually from this Northmont Reach will end up at Wright State. The semifinals in the state tournament are on the uh, 10th of November at 4 p.m. The finals are at 11 p.m. Uh, in state tournament action. Chris, you've kept a lot of stat numbers for us. What do you got? Well, first of all, congratulations to New Bremen for their district championship. They had 38 kills tonight, and they were led by uh, their outstanding hitter, Olivia Heitkamp, who had 19 kills, nine in the first set. Amelia Dammeyer followed that with nine, five in the second set, and Mary Riddler ended up with seven kills, six in the third set. They also had nine ace serves and three blocks for points. Congratulations to Marion Local on their fine season. They ended up 10th in the state and uh, district and runner-up. They had 23 kills tonight, led by Kate Ashman with nine and followed by uh, Maya Eckstein with five. They also had six ace serves and a block. Appreciate you keeping those stats for us tonight, Chris. What you can see in the background here that the Marion Local Flyers are receiving their uh, 
uh, district runner-up medals this evening. They are going to finish at 18 and 8, 3 and 6. And you know, you, you always hate to see a senior graduate, but they lose just one senior off that team, Nora Eckstein, the libero. This is a young team with a bright future ahead of them. Yeah, and she's a, an outstanding player. And she's had a good career. Congratulations to her, and good luck to the uh, Flyers next year. They they are, certainly are, are uh, have something to work for, and. Um, and uh, I'm sure they're going to put their time in next summer, and, uh, so, and yeah. so good luck to them. And New Bremen, who will be receiving their awards in just a moment, they will go to 21-4. and four. They were 8-1 and one and try champions in the Midwest Athletic Conference. They have just see three seniors, but their outstanding junior setter, Melina Schrader, she just seems to find that the hot hand has set them all every time. Well, it's just uh, one of the best setters that I've seen play in Division Four, and I've seen a lot of good ones. And... Um, but she just does a great job. She can track down balls that aren't passed that well. She can set the ball with her feet on the floor. And most of the time, she's setting the ball with her feet off the floor and, and just disguises extremely well where she's going to set that ball and just makes it very difficult for uh, defensive teams to zero in on, on the hits. And they will take that 21-4 and four record in two, the Northmont Regional, on the 2nd of November at 6 p.m. I want to thank the, uh, our scoreboard sponsor tonight, that's Structure Outdoor Ohio. We're going to thank our premier sponsor this evening, that's Hemel Garn Real Estate. Our Mr. Brad Rex runs the tournament, the athletic director. You can see Brad right at midcourt with his black shirt on, one of the best athletic directors around. I want to thank Abby Beck. She'll get over our camera and audio work here at Wapak Community High School. And Nick Fraley will take us back at the station and edit it all together. The New Bremen Cardinals will move on to the regional semifinals next week with a three-set victory over the Marion Local Flyers. You've been watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.